Hello everyone, I'm Al from alvalentine.co and welcome to Bunker Punks. Easily the best FPS I've played this year. And well, if you like retro games like Doom, but with really fast paced twitch action and really tight controls and visceral bullets, you are going to love Bunker Punks. It's got a lovely classic pixel art in game graphic style that I love, with a bit of XCOM thrown in just to spice things up. In it, the world's been taken over by the corporations, and you are a revolutionary Molly Pop. You are assembling your ragtag team in an underground bunker that you can expand and build upon, and you raid their strongholds for technology, weapons, and medical supplies to help people. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. When you go to options, there's absolutely nothing. I'm running the game at 1440p. That's it, I can put it in the window or not but this game is great. So let's just pop right in and show you what it's like. And I want to thank Ninja Robot Dinosaur, the developers, for bringing this to my attention. So if you like what you see, remember, the link is in the description. Go check out the game on Steam. I would highly recommend it. I've played quite a bit and I've died. And once you die, you get to choose and hire more revolutionaries. Now this is the base. It looks like a fancy old little gas station out in the middle of nowhere. But like XCOM, you get to unlock new areas. I haven't unlocked the bottom ones yet. And you can upgrade them. Now you do have creds, which are credits, and tech. Credits you use right now to upgrade your base. And tech is used after you die to unlock new people and new bonuses from the Desert Trader. Now Molly Pop is the main character. <laughs> Start out running and never stop. She is the main person, 28, six foot one, quite tall, one eye, gunslinger. She likes her pistols. So you want to upgrade pistols at the shooting range with her. And I've just unlocked Cleopatra Rex. She is my rifle expert. Rather awesome as well. And you can also see she doesn't have as much armor, but she has a lot more health. Now the firing range is cool. You can select different parts. As you can see, I've unlocked three places so far. I've got my bullseye, which is handguns and pistols, rifles, and shotguns. And once you have them with credit, you can upgrade them up to five times or the medical area to 10 times for increasing your punk's health. You also have nano implants. Increases the punk's he health or heals them when you do combo kills. That's just hitting as many things at the same time, make them die at the same time as possible, blowing up barrels, explosive rockets, pretty darn fun. And then you've got their quarters where they sleep. So let's get on a raid. That's our base. As you can see, I've traveled not very far this is like my third little playthrough because I die quite a bit and I didn't unlock a second runt really easily so let's go here medical and research logistics let's raid them we want to get as much stuff done and we'll pick Molly pop they're all voice acted and they are quite spunky I'm on it yes you are so as you play you can find different types of loot that give different bonuses so you want to pair up the ones that fit your character the best and in my case with molly she's a pistol slinger so we'll give her the old pistol and we'll also give her an assault rifle don't really have anything really that benefits her directly for uh, for pistols sadly but we'll get in and it seems everything's got a thing against old Molly. There are like wanted Pop. posters I'm as well. Yes, you are, lady. Yes, you are. Now, I love the controls in this game. They're super simple. As you can tell by the graphics, it's as classic as can be. Oh, hello. Uh, oh. Yep, thank you. That gives me 10% extra pistol damage. Now everything is procedurally generated, you won't have the same map layout all the time. Which some people like, some don't. There's old Molly Pop wanted, Molly Pop, zero some gang. But I love mechanics in this, it's, it's as classic as you can get for an FPS. You can't get much more classic than this. But the thing that gets me is, the gunplay is extremely visceral. It's like you can feel the impact, the sounds are great. Enemies aren't very bullet spongy, unless they're big tough guys like that. But everything else is just very satisfying in the way they work. Let's drop to the assault rifle as well. 
Here we go. The weapons just have a really nice heavy handed feel to them. Kind of like you're right there in the mix of it. I love it. This game hits all the right spots for really fun FPS. Now it is an early access, but don't let that hold that against it. It doesn't have that much to it. It's, it's an FPS of basic little world building, base building. There's not much you can put to it. But from what I've experienced so far, hell, it's a hell of a lot of fun. And I would easily recommend it to someone that just wants a game where they can relax and blow some shit the fuck up. Nope, nope, I'm gonna stick with the stuff I have. Let's go back to a pistol, because this is what she specializes in and she gets a bonus for it. Oh, Jesus. You want to get as many credits and things as you can early on, because things ramp up significantly once you start doing three raids or more. I don't have any melee weapons, but I don't think I need them really yet. Consume! Consume. Alright, now where to? The problem with it all being procedurally generated is that these maps can get a bit disorientating sometimes. There's the door. There we go. And that ting sound is essentially a combo kill, where you're constantly hitting different enemies over and over and over, and killing them one after the other successfully. Yep, barely even lost health. So let's return to our HQ and upgrade some stuff. 280 credits is not bad. Now these are early maps, so they do go by pretty quickly. That's not much of an issue, so let's upgrade our pistons a bit more. And our health. Um, yeah, might as well do rifle damage as well. These are my main two weapons, and we'll do another raid. Let's try Cleopatra. Time for a touch of class. Yeah, she's got a bit of class. Yes, she does. Hmm. She's got these. Um. I think I'll give her some armor instead. And we'll swap these weapons around. Don't have any shotgun upgrades, so there's no point in me getting really any of those. I need some new helmets, but let's go! Now, to unlock new people nice for your gang, I think I'll take it. to unlock new people for your gang, you really do need to die eventually, because that's how you get to the desert trader. Well, that's the way I've gotten to him so far. Oh, missed some credits. You need to be careful. Oh, some new pads. Now, I'll keep the ones I have for damage increase. There's a turret over there. The security bases are the worst to go to. There we go, that took quite a while to get through. Ah, oh, if only Molly Pop was here, she'd love that right now. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, hello. Oh, dog! These things are terrible. This is how I died the last time. Two of them cornered me in the, in the elevator as soon as we logged into the area. That did not go well, really. Yeah, good old double tapping. Still does the job, mostly. And, uh, nope. This is a dead end. But this is one of those games where... You want to explore every little nook and cranny because if you don't, you're not gonna get the most of the credits and tech. Oh, that's it. That's the floor done. Handy, you handy. Well then. And by the way, the soundtrack quite good. Voice acting really Make nice way as well. For This? Yes, you shall, my dear. Quick, go, 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 grab the credits. 
that's the one problem with killing things from far away. Um, you might not always get there in time to grab all of it. Oh. I hear something, but I didn't see it. Oh no, it's dead. Oh no, there they are. Proxy man, observe and control. Yeah, you guys are pretty evil. Oh god, one thing I'm glad about this game, it's not a looter shooter. You, you don't, oh goodness me, you don't have to desperately try and find better loot. God, I hate these dogs. This bit of rocket launcher would be handy, I guess, but... Oh, there's a lot of them. But you don't always want a rocket launcher, because knowing my luck, I'll probably just blow myself up with it. Next floor! Shall we carry on? Yes, we shall. Bum, bum, bum. The concept art looks so amazing, and then you get the in-game graphics. <laughs> such a such a stark contrast, really. Well, that guy had a bit more health than usual. Nope, no damage increase from that. Love the music in this game. Soundtrack fits it rather well. Pretty simple, but then again, the game takes a very simple mechanic based system you can't get more classic and then it just does it right it just feels right oh damn it mr. tech just so fun Fuck you, dog. there we go the one thing I really appreciate you don't have to sit around reloading Oh, I didn't even notice you there. You don't have to sit around reloading at all. What you see is what you get. You have 71 rounds of ammo for your assault rifle. You get to spend 71 rounds of ammo for your assault rifle. That's it. I love it. No need to worry about any of that. But no, that's not to say that reloading games is bad. I love it in games like The Division that gets it just right. An appropriate end. In other modern military shooters, this isn't. This is more of a classic FPS in the sense, and I love it. Um, oh, damn it, I need to get the combo thingy, but I'll upgrade health more instead. I don't have anything else to upgrade, I didn't really get many credits there. Let's go medical, medical logistics, and we'll take my pop. Do this. Oh, yeah, let's do. Hmm. Anything for pistol damage? Shotgun pistols? Yeah. There we go. That, that'll do. Alright, uh, we haven't run into this a mini boss part. yet. I'm going in. God, one thing that's better about the pistol is it's got a really tight recoil grouping. Well, that could be good depending on what you like. That could be. Oh, I love the music in this level. Cheeky bastards. I hate these little flying buggers everywhere. Their motto is literally the same as Google's was. If not doing anything wrong, there's nothing wrong with being observed. <laughs> if you're not doing wrong, you've got nothing to hide essentially, you know? Wait, what's this? What's this? Ooh, no, I'll keep the armor. Oh, some tech. Great. Break disorderly conduct. Comply, obey, conform. Oh god, no! Oh, fuck off, dogs. I hate those things with a passion. I wish I could deal with pistols. That would be so handy. There we go. <laughs> Made it. That's one issue with this the game. You don't really want to speed run. If you do, like I just did there, because you go, go into a panic, you go just you're just gonna lose. You're gonna lose all the goodies. Because the main point about raiding these bases is to get as much resources and stuff as you can. Not to just run through them really quickly. <sighs> ah yes. Oh my lordy lord!
Grab the tick. There we go. Oh, low on ammo. No, 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 no. Dog. It's a dog. I saw a dog. Yep. Damn it, I didn't get more than a three hit combo there. Not happy about that. Well, I got five hit, I guess. <clears throat> ah, yes, lovely health. Come on. Oh, lot, a lot. They're everywhere, hiding around the corners, aren't they? Wait, I heard something else. There you are. I have an 85% damage bonus in my pistol. It's so good. Grab ammo, ammo, ammo. Wish there was a default melee attack to open those things, but no, you need a baseball bat for that. I'm really not in the mood for a baseball bat. God, talk about all over the place. Um, wait, what? Oh, what I needed. yeah, extra armor, please. God, there's the way out. Let's go, go, go. Next floor. Here we go. Alrighty. And a turret right at the start. Not very nice. Hmm, nope. Hmm, the music sounds very different here. Sounds quite different. Kind of like I'm expecting a mini boss to show up. Huh. Right, darling. Hmm is right. We need to not rush around. We need to take our time a bit. Blow shit up. Oh, lot, a lot. Oh, thank goodness, pistols are so good on this character. Jesus, will you guys stop hiding around corners? Seriously. That's oh, that was that? Oh, thank goodness. It sounded like I was gonna run into a mini boss there for a bit. Still not enough for that. Ah, but folks, there you have it. This is a quick look at Bunker Punks. A game I find really, really enjoyable, and I hope you did too. And if you did, don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description to Steam. Definitely check it out. Ninja, Robot, Dinosaur, what a mouthful for studio name, have done an amazing job. I love the arts, I love the graphics, I love the voice acting. Ah, oh, I love the soundtrack, it's so good. And I love the gunplay, it's very visceral. Little upgrades are really nice as well, it means you can get that little bit extra out of your characters. Especially when it comes to mixing and matching loot. I like it a lot. And well folks, I'm Al, thanks for watching, and bye bye. It makes me feel great, smarter, more aggressive. I feel like I could, like I could.